do, 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 do. the idea behind all this is this you have your uh, worker nodes and the worker nodes these are basically uh, your these are servers server n and this is server one and the idea is you have the driver and the driver is basically uh, in a like in a program this is you can see this as a main function uh, in java in scala it's literally the the main the the main thing of the of your program and there you have your loading or your your making um, statements how you load the data and how you want to process the data and what the driver and what the spark context is doing is on the worker node you have executors and these depend also on uh, how much resources you have on the worker nodes and the worker nodes they start the tasks who are getting planned by the driver by the basically by the context or based on how you process the data in the context um so basically the this thing here spawns all the tasks and is is um responsible for the parallel processing for the let's say for, for the management of this whole thing and this is uh more or less if you're running uh you, you can run uh, spark in some modes if you're running in client mode this client mode is on your on your uh, pc uh, if you're running in something like a cluster mode where we come uh, in a second this is then running on also on one of these uh, workers so this thing here makes it a bit clearer again here um, so here we have again we have this the the driver and the driver has basically all the information what is going to happen here in this code you have a filter you have maps and then you have actions like count and once uh, until a action is um, triggered this all is basically this is not executed and once an action is executed then all the code before like the, like the reading and so on uh, is getting executed and then the driver is or the driver creates the spark context and what that does is it schedules basically or it creates from the from the rdds from the data sets or from the rdds you can say it's like variables um that you are that you're transferring we are going to come uh, and look at rdds uh more in the future um basically the idea here is a rdd a resilient distributed data set is um is distributed over the can be distributed over the network or over the the workers and it's once it's created you cannot change it and the idea here is with for instance a map uh, and so on and joins you can basically create new rdds you can create from the rdd1 and from the rdd2 you create a new one this would be three and this would be four and how is this stuff processed and here comes the the funny thing how this is how this is done um how this is processed the the spark context is basically creating the tasks and these tasks as i understand it and as i have seen it these tasks then get spawned on the worker nodes let's do this like this and so you're getting the parallel processing and yeah it's it's actually it's it's quite simple and because yeah you have the cluster manager who is doing the resource allocation because these uh, these things these worker nodes they have limited amount of um of storage of disk uh no not storage of 
uh, of storage of ram of cpu time or cpus and so this needs to be managed yeah and so this is basically the the one of the the main um things how spark works and what makes spark so good is one th is once uh, also this this uh this uh concept of rdds once they're created you cannot change them and this is why they are uh, they are so good and uh, usable for distributed processing you create one and then you can um, take slices of an rdd and distribute it basically what they are doing is they are taking this rdd one and they are creating one two and three and uh, basically slices or partitions how they are called um and then you can and then you can distribute these partitions again or uh, to the workers in the tasks so yeah it's immutable of course i uh, i tend always to um to use simple simple language as much as possible um.